Hello everyone, welcome to my Chinese painting workshop. My name is Rolling Zhen. I'm teaching for Chinese painting. Today, I will show how to draw chrysanthemum in Chinese painting by Chinese brush and ink. In this session, I will start by introducing the materials of Chinese painting first, and then I will demonstrate how to draw the chrysanthemum. Okay, let's start. They are all materials we need to use in drawing Chinese painting. This is the ink, and it's the essential material of Chinese painting and calligraphy. Next one is rice paper. We can draw the flower on it. We also need paint and some plates. Today, I prepared two plates for drawing. One is for holding ink, and another one is for mixing color. There are the Chinese brushes. I also prepared two brushes for this artwork. One is for outlining, and another one is for coloring. This is the felt. Same as writing calligraphy, we should put the felt and the rice paper, which can prevent the ink soak through on the desk. Okay, now we are ready with our materials. Today, we will draw the chrysanthemum, the famous traditional flower in China. And for Chinese people, it can represent fortitude and forever. In addition, chrysanthemum as a kind of tea that can clear away the heat for our body. It's good for health. Hopefully, after this session, you can find out more chrysanthemum beauty. At the end of this session, you would complete the artwork like this. For drawing Chinese painting, we should pour some liquid ink into the plate. And then, dip some ink with your brush and scrap off the excess ink on the edge of the plate. As you know, the chrysanthemum made of the flowers, the branches, and the leaves. And the flower made of lots of petals, so I should teach you how to draw the petal first. The petal will be like this. There are two steps to draw it. One, two. It's not hard to draw it. Okay, let's start to draw the first flower. We need to draw the petals in the center part first. To us, the petals of the center part look smallest. And you just need to draw a part of the petal, not the whole petal. Like to draw the top part of it. and then draw the outer petals. And the closest petals from you are the largest, so you should draw the whole petals. We can add some smallest petals in the center part.
then we should draw the petals farthest from you, and it will become a little bigger. But they are not bigger than the closest petals. If you think you have finished this flower, you can see the whole flower and add some petals on the outer layer to make the flower look more energetic. Okay, let's draw the second flower. The way of drawing it is the same as the first flower. I will show how to draw it again. Now, these two flowers have been done, but they are not finished. We just outlined these flowers. We need to color the paint on it later. So, the next step is to draw the branches. We need to soak the brush with ink again. We draw it start here, on the bottom of the flower, and drag the brush down. it on the second flower again. Now we get two thick lines which are branches. However, please be careful that you don't draw two parallel lines. Next, let's draw the leaves. Before that, we need to add more water to ink to get light ink to draw the leaves. And make sure that there is enough ink inside your brush. Now, I will show how to draw one leaf next to this flower first. Your brush should be a little bit tilted, not too straight. 
The leaf made of four or five parts. Press the brush and pull it down. Then go back to the beginning and go to the right to draw it again. We can add one more part on the left. And also add the small one on the top. Okay, one leaf is finished. Okay, that's a leaf which is made of five parts. Now we can draw the leaf of four parts. Drawing leaves is a quick action. If there is a little missing or the brush doesn't come down, don't repair it. It's the part of the art. It's like a bug bed and it will make the leaves look natural. Now I will draw the leaves on the flowers. I draw the big leaf on the branch first. Next, I will draw the another one next to it. Be careful not to draw the leaves of the same size or the same shape. leaves grow from the branches, so we should draw the leaves with the branches together. Then, we need to draw the lighter leaves with the lighter ink, and it can make the leaves look more layered. So, we should add more water one more time to mix the light ink. We can add the smaller leaves here. We haven't finished the leaves because we need to outline the leaves' veins. But we need to wait for the ink become become a little dry to outline. In waiting, we can start to put color on these two flowers. Take a clean plate and a clean brush. For the chrysanthemum, we need the yellow color. And squeeze out on the plate. And we also need the orange color and squeeze it out. So we need to dip a little orange paint. Mix it to the yellow paint. And put the color on the closest petals. Tap the brush on the paper like this. As we draw the center, the petal's color looks a little dark yellow. So we need to add more orange color and mix them. Then we get the dark yellow and color it. After we finished coloring the first flower, we now go back to outline the leaves' wings and pour some ink into the ink stone. Don't add water because we need the strong ink. And then we start to outline the wings on the leaves. Please follow the direction of the leaf growth.
Okay, after we finished, now we move to the second flower. The way of coloring is the same as the first flower. We should color the closest petals first. And then color the center part with the dark yellow. And finally, color the farthest petals. Okay, now the chrysanthemum finished. I hope you had a good time with me. Thank you, bye bye.